so cute. Today's gonna be a long day, so I'm gonna take you guys. Um, two glazed donuts and a strawberry dragon fruit refresher with lemonade, please. No, that's it. Thank you. And can it be large, please? Large. Yeah. You want large, not medium? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's for my YouTube channel. Oh, really? Yeah. Yo, you have a YouTube channel? Yes. Say hi. Oh, you wanted to say hi? Yeah. Oh, say hi. Hi. <laughs> All right, thank you. Uh, now we wait because I'm hungry. I was scared to because I was thought she was gonna be like, oh, don't put me in your video because most people be like, oh, make sure you don't record and all oh, that stuff. My edges are done, bro. Like, I might go, I don't even know what I'm gonna do, y'all. Cause I try to lay them extra, I mean, they're better than what they usually are cause they're like still straight and stuff. It's just that like, they're popping up so bad. My lashes falling like, it's ghetto out here, y'all. It's so hot. It's really hot. Hey guys, whoa. <laughs> I don't see. Whoa, I actually look so crazy. I'm gonna cover my face cause I look crazy. But, I just wanted to talk about clinical opportunities and shadowing as a pre-med. Now, 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 now. I'm not saying that I'm the best pre-med in the world, that I got all this, this, and that. But I'm just going to share advice on how I got the clinical and shadowing opportunities that I've gotten thus far. So I'm speaking on what I've accomplished so far. Even though it not, may not be much, it could help other people that are in the same position that I was. So basically, in order to, like... Um, and starting off and gaining, let's start off with volunteering experience. How I started, I'm not volunteering, what am I saying? Uh, shadowing experience. How I started off with getting more shadowing experience was the first thing that I, the first person that I went to for shadowing experience with was my pediatrician. So if you're looking to shadow a doctor and you don't know who to go to, the first person that I would say to go to is your pediatrician because that's like the person that you know the best, the person that you can easily have access to, and the person that's more willingly to say yes and then you can go from there and they can refer you to other people as well. So the first person I would say to go for a shadowing experience is your pediatrician. The second point of contact I would do is what I also what you all can also do is um look up around um, some clinics and other places in your area that are like most likely clinics because I feel like they're more accessible to doctors but yeah I would say go to call up clinics be like hey I'm a pre-med looking to shadow a doctor can I speak to the certain doctor that you saw online or whatever the case may be and then you know request to shadow them as well as do some networking in your family like if you know that your dad is a let's say nurse or something maybe they can hook you up with somebody that's a doctor as well 
as well as if you're in college i would say do a lot of networking there as well join networking fairs do like all those different types of fairs where they have access to doctors so you can be able to gather emails gather phone numbers and all those different types of things so when you when it is time to shadow you can always have them on on the phone or whatever the case may be and another okay and then now i'm going to go into talking about um how you can get a job a clinical job or anything like that the first thing i would say now obviously yes the easiest way to get a clinical job is to have the certifications but certifications are very very expensive so the first thing that i mean what i did um to get the job that i wanted to get was obviously on jobs on indeed and all those different types of things they do have options where you can apply to be a medical assistant um a medical assistant without the certification but what i could say is that a way that you can get kind of get your foot in the door is having um um like getting your foot in the door to get it medical assistant or pct or phlebotomy or anything like that without the certification is clinics because i feel like a lot of hospitals would rather you have the certification but a lot of clinics are willing to train people on site and um another thing is is that on your resume you can be gathering volunteering experience and gathering experience like um shadowing things like that to show because i mean obviously those don't cost money so gathering experience like that could really stand out on your um application in your resume obviously network in college do all those different types of things but those are the things that i kind of did to get the things that i'm getting this far even though i am trying my best more to get more clinical experience and get more but this is the advice that i would say as of now for what i was able to get um because right now i'm patient care associate um, they said that as I, as long as I worked there for like two months, they would move me up to medical assistant. So, I mean, I feel like I got the medical assistant one down. They said they're willing to just pay me on the job. And yeah, so, and obviously pray because God is the only one that can give you what you want to give. You can put in all the work, but at the end of the day, you want your will to be done. God's will to be done for you. So, another thing, get close to God. Ask God. Communicate with him on the, to direct your path as well. And yeah, so that's all I have to say for you as of now. It's ISO. We got to increase that. You know about ISO, bro. I don't even know about this. Y'all want to play? Oh, we got a couple more minutes. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Who's in Let me see. Oh, yeah. Let's play again. <laughs> Just pass it, you're not gonna know. Pass it, pass it. Go back now. I don't know what you're doing, bruh. That's gonna be a thumbnail. Wait, can we do it again? Okay, okay. All right. This time I didn't know you were going this way. Alright. Yeah. vlogging? Yeah, this is Tony's camera, so. Hey! I hope it's recording. Oh. I mean, it's recording at the okay. time. Hey, guys, it's so cute. Oh, it's the kind of camera I want. So. Yeah, the cheap. How much was that? Oh, yeah. this is like hey vlog. Yeah. You want to do a good check? Oh, the check. Okay. Oh, not I don't even know. Wait, is it recorded? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, y'all. This is from a thrift store. Okay. Four ninety nine. Okay. 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 I stole this hat from my brother's closet. Okay. This dress is it's from Amazon. Okay. Where did you get your dress from, Crystal? I don't know. Oh. But, you want you me to do your the check? Where'd you get the shirt dress from? I got it from Amazon. Okay, and the shoes? Um, Fashion Nova. Okay! And the bag, YSL. Period. Yeah. Expensive. Alrighty, let's go. Hey guys, I am here. I'm at my, my, my cousin's, my new baby cousin's naming ceremony. And I had to, like, bring a dress. And I, I barely have, like, the makeup that I put on this morning. But I got some flowers for the mother and a teddy bear for the baby and some cute little candies and yeah that's what i could get and i got orange in it because orange is my aunt's favorite color 
from what I knew of, I knew that. Oh. Hi. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh, girl, you could. What? I was just kidding. Hi, Auntie. How are you? Did you get 